Uh, in this video, you are going to learn some safety rules to be followed in the playground. Uh, I think you will be having playtime. No? You will be having that period. And you all will be going to your drum. So, and you like to enjoy. If you go to play games in your playground, then you will have some lot of fun, enjoyment. Yes or no? You will enjoy or not? Yes. You like to enjoy. You like to play with your friends. So even while playing, you should follow some safety rules. Then you can enjoy very well. So, uh, sometimes uh, there may be barbed <coughs> wires or uh, hedges surrounding the playground, around the playground. So, don't go, in some areas there may be. So, don't go, if there are, suppose if there are any barbed wires or hedges, because if we go near and suppose if we may slip and if we may fall, on them, the thorns, they may prick you, you may get hurt. Don't go alone to swim. Some of them, they might be enjoyed go to swim. So, whenever you go to swimming, don't go alone. You just take your elders and follow the safety rules. Why? Swimming. If we won't follow, what happens? We may drown or uh, something we may feel like that. So, some of the rules you should follow whenever you go to a swimming. And uh, you should only swim at the shallow end only. Okay? So, be careful whenever you go to swim. Take your don't forget to take your elders. And another one is in your school. You may have merry-go-rounds, slides, swings. You may be playing all these games, no? So while playing near these swings or slides, you should not push each other. And just you should wait for your turn and then you can go to play in your line only. And next thing is don't fight. You should not fight when, while you are playing. Always you should follow the safety rules of the games and then you can play. So, here these are the safety rules that you should follow when you go to a playground or when you go to any play. Okay? Hi children. Now let us learn some safety rules to be followed on the road. So, whenever you are walking on your road, Always you should walk only on the footpath. And don't walk in the middle of the road. Because there may be traffic, they will hit you. So, always you should walk only on the footpath. And many of you, you have bicycles. So, whenever you are cycling on the road, always keep to your left and walk only towards the traffic side. Why? Right? So that you can see the opposite vehicle coming. Okay? And while crossing the road, Use 
pedestrian crossing or zebra crossing and only when the light is green for you then only you should cross suppose if there is no pedestrian light then you should look first look to your left see whether there is any traffic look to your right and again to your left and if the road is clear without any traffic then you can cross and if you are sure that the road is full clear without traffic then only you cross the road and uh, you know the traffic indications signals red says red there there is red light yellow light and green light here red says stop whereas yellow says wait green says go and you should follow this traffic indications traffic signals and you should cross the road only if the light is green and uh, never fly kites on the road because the vehicles they may hit and there may be an accident and suppose if you are traveling in a bus or a train whatever may be a moving vehicle ah huh? don't lean out of the window or even don't put your hands outside the window uh, yeah, what happens uh, there may be an accident or uh, any vehicle may hit you so better not to put your uh, head outside the moving bus or don't put your hands out of a moving train or don't uh, uh, even jump out of the moving vehicle don't get in or even don't get off of a either a moving bus or a train because you know it is a very dangerous thing so better you follow safety rules if you follow all these safety rules you will be safe okay now you will learn some safety rules to be followed at school what are the safety rules you should follow at school you should not run on staircases you may slip and fall down and you hurt yourself and don't push others while walking down the staircase they may slip and fall down and another thing is don't play and run inside your classroom when our teacher is not there what many children do they start playing in the class or even in interval times they just jump on the benches run and push each other so don't play and run inside a classroom even if it is an interval or a break time or whatever may be because what will happen you know sometimes the corners of the desk or benches are there no they may hurt you and it may cause pain you may get hurt and don't jump on the table set chairs you may get hurt okay and some of them what they do they prick others with pens or scales or pencils uh, it may cause serious injury if anyone pricks what happens blood will come uh so don't prick anyone and uh, another thing is don't let your bags 
or water bottles to lie on the floor keep it properly in a correct place correct position because if it lie on the ground or on the floor you may trip and slip and you may fall down and the next thing suppose whenever you are going to school huh, at that time or even on the ground you some type of strange animals we will see uh so strange animal don't never touch these uh, strange animals sometimes they may bite or even they may scratch so if anything happens what you have to do is first immediately you go and tell to your parents or elders for proper medicine otherwise it is very dangerous it for uh, proper medicine is not used immediately you should take some medicine with the help of an elder so like this if uh, you follow some safety rules even if you are in the school you will be safe